Okay, so today we have another X Power 1000 watt inverter that uh, someone that I would generously gave me for free. Um, you'll see why inside there in a minute. Uh, I still offer, you know, uh, give them a bit for it. Uh, but yeah, so this one actually works. It's just dirty. Um, it needs a good cleaning, but it also needs uh, just, a, just a little something else. But it does work. Until I forgot to test it on a, a power supply to triple check, but uh, well, I'm pretty sure it'll work. And if so, then the parts that I got for it, or if not, then the parts I got for it were actually reasonably cheap. So yeah, just uh, basically four screws on the four corners of each side. Uh, although this one's missing a couple on the top there. I'll probably try and find something to stick in there or at least move the two spare screws from the bottom spares uh, up to the top since that's where stuff is going to be getting plugged and unplugged uh, and getting yanked on a little mo bit more than the battery connections. I'm going to actually just move that in closer to the camera. And so yeah, you can see there, uh, I, I heard that the fuses were soldered across to get, to get it to work, to run space heater. Uh, I didn't know it was across the top. Also, I forgot to lock the exposure, so just give me a second here. There we go. Uh, now someone had asked me about the position of a uh, diode on my old repair video for one of these. Uh, the SO diode one. I might have to check. To just make sure I have the right one. Uh, it, it was also quite a long time ago. I keep forgetting to grab the old diode. Once I actually have this out of here, I'll take a look at it. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to leave these bits plugged in and we will just focus on getting to the bottom of the board. There's also some soldering iron damage. Oop. To the uh, insulation there. But that's not too bad. That's not actually broken through or anything. And I'm not running this at full capacity. So I'll leave that on. And yeah, it looks like these will be our four fuses. And it uses 30 amp ones. Uh, got a pack of these on clearance for 90, 90 cents, uh, which was even better than the uh, like the couple bucks I originally thought it was. Cause, yeah, it was on clearance and then some sort of secondary clearance thing. Uh, so I'm going to be using a solder bolt. Uh, basically, you squeeze it in, there's a plunger with an o-ring, and you release this and it sucks everything through. Uh, surprising number of people haven't heard about these. They're fucking awesome.
Oh, fuck. Okay, so I did wind up breaking diode one right there. Uh, that's unfortunate. I do believe that was just a Zener diode, though. Yeah, shit. Okay, that's not good, so I might have to go get my other one of these. Which will be a pain in the ass to see it. Or I can hopefully check the video uh, and see it in there and find a replacement. But yeah, that um, that's annoying. This won't be quite as quick as I thought unless I can find something similar laying around. But I don't really have much in the way of Zener diodes. Okay, so I had a look at the video, and I think the diode might have actually already been broken. Um, so I basically, I just salvaged a, a random Zener diode, because uh, I have no clue what the actual voltage spec or anything is supposed to be. Uh, so we will just see if that works. Uh, and unfortunately, my solder bolt uh, broke, uh, which is why the video cut where it did. Uh, I push it in, and it no longer, uh, no longer pops out, so I have to manually, or is that not working at all now? Oh, it's already primed. So yeah, I have to, uh, manually pull it out, which sucks, because these aren't super cheap. Uh, it's lasted a long time, but still, you know, it's kind of shitty. Uh, the little piece of plastic that broke it came out of it so maybe I can uh, maybe I can stick that back on there or something but anyways this will be a little slow uh, but yeah I'll uh, keep going now on clearing out those holes
Okay, so I actually went ahead and just stopped recording because it was getting pretty frustrating trying to get this last one in. And I was just going to have way too much footage to go through. Uh, so now that's in, and I just want to give this a quick test. So I have a, a security camera power supply, which I've actually modified into a variable power supply. And so... Plug it in there, and then I have a UPS. Okay. So I can't recall why it makes that beep, but I think it's just because I had a poor connection. That or the... Um, it's either that or the... Um, voltage is just dropping too low. I'm assuming it is drawing maybe too much power for that to work properly. So, uh, this is looking good. What I'll actually do is uh, take it out to my car and wire it in and just test it with a, a drill or something. Uh, and then we should be good for the reassembly. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just put it into the bottom of its case. Uh, I haven't cleaned it off yet or anything, but just so that I can get the heat sinks back in place, basically. All right, so that is everything heat sunk and tightened up. Uh, our four new fuses in place, as well as that diode, which again I think was pretty was a pretty good chance it was broken already. Uh, I heard a crunch when I was going in there with the pliers, but I think that was actually maybe just like a leftover piece of the diode. I think it was actually burnt out all the way. Uh, I'll be able to tell better when I'm fully editing this video. Uh, so yeah. Uh, fan seems you know not uh, crunchy berries or any bearings or anything uh, so I'm gonna go test this and we'll see okay so it's kind of sketchy but we'll go ahead and turn it on and so that green light is on if we turn it off okay oh and then I got a drill plugged into it Okay, so the fan starts spinning with the load. Alright, so I think that is a uh, successful repair. Yeah, I, I recall it... Um, making a beep when you turn the power off. 
I don't seem to do it on this one. All right, and so here we have the uh, inverter. Uh, spent a while cleaning it up. Um, yeah, so as you saw in the video uh, clip, it tested fine. Uh, it's much cleaner now than it was. Uh, and I went ahead and replaced the uh, the power LED that was green with a, a blue one because eh, I like blue. Why not? So yeah, uh, the sticker's a little rough, but you know, hey, uh, can't complain too much about it. Uh, it was uh, relatively quick and another easy fix on one of these inverters. Uh, doesn't have like a display or anything, like a fancy little LCD like some of the ones I had been kind of wanting to get, but you know, freeze free. -free.